Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Ready for some more Southern voice acting, everyone? Oh boy! I'm gonna <laughs> offend everyone in the country. <laughs> well, I mean, we're from America, so you won't offend anyone here, most likely. Anyhow, we gotta leave Lada. Sorry, Lada, but... Goodbye! We got, we got nothing more to talk to you. Actually, wait, no, we can ask her about her camera, I guess. Oh, wait! Lada? Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Uh, yep. Yeah. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. Pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our potty po party popper? I guess it would. Your camera, didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Yeah, I'll come back now, you hear? She went inside her SUV. Guess we should come back later. What? It'll only take me, like, two seconds! <laughs> <laughs> She's got a lot of film to go through. We just took, like, a gajillion pictures with our party pop. Wouldn't she have been all. awake if it was meteor showers? Maybe. She's like, oh yeah, I saw everything! Saw everything, y'all! I don't smell anything. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. If anyone has not seen Holes, go I'll out and see, see it. Holes. It's amazing. I have, like, two or three friends that need to still go see it. Well, we gotta fix that. Yeah. December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. I also like the Gumshoe music. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Great. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. T true You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So, they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes sir And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones who to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe! How come you trusted Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason! He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust that he earned places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. Okay. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Added autopsy report to the court record. But no one can Thank identify you. the person? That's a shame. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That's a gnarly looking fellow. <laughs> that face! Something, someone you know? I, I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. His hair is terrible. <laughs> for real, couldn't you have dressed up a little better for Christmas Eve? 
He didn't know he was getting murdered. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh. Well, I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. <laughs> That's well, let's it. show the camera. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. Alright, fine. Oh, oh, we gotta examine. Examining in criminal affairs is amazing. A poster of a female police officer. Wait, no, that's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, people get calendars with, like, the bathing suits, and then it's just like, hey, do you want to see some hot girls in uniforms? Oh, oh yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the Blue Badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. The I see. Blue How nice. Blue Badger? <laughs> I'll get him a signed mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do! Um, good luck? Yeah, the blue badger. Have you heard of it before? I think I have. I don't know why. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake? Gordy sighted? I don't believe it! <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be reading something more important? <laughs> that police- the- the, um, detective chief is hilarious. Okay. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Alright, hands against the wall, all of you. Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes in the back of my head. He must be doing image training for arrests. I thought he was going to be playing a game on his computer. <laughs> I thought he was going to be, like, writing a novel or something. These are the detectives' desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. What is it? Oh! Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey! Yeah, I remember now! This guy! This is a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I wanted to hang out there with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Grossberg's office? Right! That guy! That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old times sake. Oh boy. We're going back to Grossberg, everyone. <laughs> Let's talk. Well, what should we do? The police have pretty much made up their minds that Edgeworth did it. And Edgeworth won't tell us anything. I guess we could go look for clues down by the lake? Right. Well, Penny for your thoughts? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> thoughts. Thoughts. Yeah, why won't Mr. Edgeworth tell us anything? And, and... And why did he refuse to ask for our help? What a jerk! <laughs> Maya's puffed out face is amazing. It doesn't look great. Oh, never mind. <laughs> nope, we've seen that before. He has a nice last one. Who was that with the camera? A lot of something? Let's go talk to her about that photograph. Nick! This person was a lawyer at Grossberg's office! Let's go talk to him! Mr. Grossberg, I mean. Not the dead guy. <laughs> I mean, you could channel his spirit. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's Whoa. still in training. Whoa! Wait, I know what we need to do. What? Let's go to the detention center, Maya will channel his spirit, and then we will get Miles to talk. Maya's still in training? She can channel her sister! Uh, okay, the, the reason she can is because both she and her sister are like blood relatives, and because Ooh. they're both spirit mediums. Ooh. Maybe this dude's a spirit medium, we don't know. And also... He's a lawyer. Also, it, it established in the last case, like, she can only channel her sister when they're, like, in big trouble, basically. Oh, no! We're in big trouble! It's time to channel the dude! <laughs> December 25th, Grossberg Law Offices. Never Apparently, he... a picture! He, uh, worked... Uh, he works on Christmas as well. It's been a while since I was here last. Mr. Grossberg is out as usual. Hey, Nick. Look at the wall. That painting is still missing. That's dumb. Mia must have known about the deal with Mr. Grossberg and Red White. She kept track on all of White's extortion and blackmail rackets. Why is the wall there a different color? A big painting was hanging here until recently. Huh. What happened to it? Uh, well, he gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to some romantic interest! <laughs> Love blooms eternal, Nick! 
Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. <laughs> a solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Hey, Nick, I want a desk like that in our office, too. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to sit at a desk like that yet. Huh? I meant for me. You'd better start saving your allowance, then. <laughs> I don't get an allowance because my parents are dead. Expensive-looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive-looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Well then, let's take them back to our office. He won't miss them. Uh, we don't need them. Then can we take that wooden bear? Hmm, it is kind of cute. <laughs> I want the wooden bear. Nope, I thought we could examine wow! the chair. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even oh, I can yeah. tell someone's here got has got money to burn. We should put things on the client's table too. I'm not really into smoking. We could put out candy or gum. Classy. Gum that is classy. gum is candy, right? Gum's kind of different though. Gum gum, gum is a type of candy. Gum is a type of candy that people chew for other things. Edgeworth, meanwhile, is like sulking in his corner going okay, mushrooms. But <laughs> in, okay, in the Venn diagram, candy is a giant circle and gum is a smaller circle that's completely enclosed inside the candy circle. Okay. I guess, like, normally no one's like, I eat candy for such and such, but, like, gum has many purposes. I don't know. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. Hey, y'all! Lada! Wait up sec, we got Bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them, take a look. Some dude. It's, he's actually just pointing at the other guy. <laughs> Wait. See, see, he's shooting him with that pistol. It, it looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who's that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night. I strangled a bullfrog. <laughs> I strangled a bullfrog. <laughs> to strangle a bullfrog. I can't read. <laughs> it's too far. My eyes are bad. But, you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Uh, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. You don't reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. I reckon no. <laughs> I reckon so, but let's try reckon no for fun. Well, now we can do that. I reckon so. What's that? No good y'all trying to go mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. But wait! What? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> let's I do reckon it. No. I reckon no. I, I reckon no. What's that? No one y'all think y'all can pull one over me just because you speak the lingo. I know enough to know that when you see a murder, you best tell the cops. It's my obligation as a citizen. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, Vada. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? T tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lotta! Don't let it get... Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter. I'm gone! Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying! Hot darn! <laughs> He left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Lake photo added to the court record. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. Chase after. December 25th, Gord Lake, Public Beach. Looks like the police have given up their questioning. Hey! It's Santa Claus! Ah! Nick! I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick. Nick! You know Santa? Wow! Nick and Saint Nick! Hey, I see the connection! 
Don't be ridiculous! Dude, it's me! Look, Larry! Larry! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you were just saying! I to see him! <laughs> what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job! I sell samurai dogs! Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know! My girl, Kiyonse, deserves the best! Kiyonse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kiyonse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear the costume. She was all, You go, girlfriend! You know? <laughs> she bought this costume for me. That... That's great, Larry. Wow! A Santa costume! She must be really nice! Whoa! Cute! Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... What? N no, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm a little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, it must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. <laughs> no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. <laughs> Larry's back. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. You work here. Have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously! He wouldn't have been standing out here in this cold. <laughs> huh? I... I, I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Keonse's not in town right now. She... she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Me? The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You, you don't mean that Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? I totally called it! <laughs> oh my gosh! I didn't... Ugh! Oh. So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow! I never knew! Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like his father. I like... like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Oh! Wow! Wait... You said defense lawyer. Yeah. Wait a second! But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney! What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? No! He's a prosecuting attorney! It's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer! Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and everything. What a bore! How the heck were they friends? I wonder what changed his mind, though. Hey, Do you know Nick? Died. Nick? Freaking Phoenix, right? Just talk. Um, um, tell me about the dogs! Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai fiend was Keonse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend! She made that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What was the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy! Gordy? Oh, Let's talk boy. about Gordy. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy! A uh, monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow! It's really real! Huh? Hot news! Giant life form appears Nick, in Gordy! Nick! A monster! A real monster! Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm? What's this? 
I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Well, that's daytime. I wish I could have seen it! Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry? Pop, pop. Could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem! That'll be one million dollars! One million? Grow up, Larry. Gordy article added to the court record. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in the trial. S sorry I can't really pay you. Cause you blow it all on Keyonce. But you can have all the dogs you want! Really? Larry, if you let her at your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. Hey, no problem! If that's what makes her happy, you know? How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? <laughs> What's that? It's a camera. You take pictures with it. Huh? Larry! You mean you don't know what a camera is? C course I know! Hey, you're looking at a bona fide junior high graduate! I was talking about the weird contraption on that camera. Oh, that. Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. Well, go showing it to me then! Jeez! <laughs> Who's dead body? Hey, Larry, you know this guy? Who's that? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Well... <laughs> What's this? You know, my eyes have been pretty bad lately, Nick. Me too. <laughs> Actually, the photo's boring, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm just a simple vendor of samurai dogs, dig? <laughs> yeah, sure, you were the one who gave me it, Larry. Oh, actually, if we examine the Samurai Dogs, does he say something different? <laughs> wow! Cody Lake is really big! Oh wait, nope, this is the wrong thing. <laughs> Scoot over a little more, there we go. Yeah. I can't get over the Samurai Dogs. The original Samurai Dogs, no less! Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins! Why don't you add World Famous to the sign? Hey, good idea! What have I done? <laughs> That's great. Where are we moving to? Oh, the entrance. Oh, where are we moving to? Uh, criminal affairs, I guess? Well, yeah, it must be, because we're yeah. typing. It's still Christmas, we're still at the police department. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be there in a while. Lot of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, so I just saw this crazy thing. And you go, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what... Artie's said that a few times, and I was like, what is that from? <laughs> that makes more sense. Oh. Oh, boy. The offices of gross. <clears throat> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You mean something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you, you're Mia's something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes! You've grown! You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Oh, um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? H who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. Th this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Let's he talk about that painting. He sleeps till noon. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. How sad. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Well, that's sad. See ya. Yeah, well, well, we're presenting stuff. Okay. You've really grown up in the past few years, my dear. How proud Mia be if she could see you now. 
She said she was more worried about me than anything. Aw, uh, just go on and take the compliment, will you? Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer, here, in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond. And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Poor dude. Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was at a loss. No conviction was made. We already know about the DL6 incident. The DL6 incident, yes, happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to char charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes. Yes, quite. Thank you. No, please, d don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait! What does this case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear! The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What?! His father?! Wait, he was the one who died?! In the DL6 incident, yeah. I knew his parents were dead, or someone. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. But we can't talk to him! Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Oh, hello. I'm probably Edgeworth's mother. Wait! This is a photograph of my mother! Never mind. <laughs> Misty Face photo added to the court record. I, that second photo finally comes in handy from the second, please. Let's move! Let's go to. No time to Edgeworth. move! He will not appear. December 25th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. I do feel bad for him. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? But I want to be near the case because there's so many things involved! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor, apparently, would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you! Let's show him. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it. I'm impressed, right? You are always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. Uh, but we already knew about it. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Yay! Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Yay! <laughs> Ask him! You're getting oh. very excited. Well, hey, because this dude's a grump. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Blah! Right Blah. before my eyes. Oh. 
gosh! He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. Ah! How old was he? My memories from that time are... foggy. Probably good. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. Yeah. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. Stupid. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um... That spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? That's when it's gonna end. The, statu <laughs> December 28th. the statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What?! Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. Wait, I want to see court record. And rem I'm trying to figure out how old um, Edgeworth is. 24. 24. 24 minus 15. He was 9. 9. Oh my gosh! What in the world? What is with all these children, like, witnessing murder? At least they weren't murdered themselves. True, but... Ugh. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So... You were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. Aww. I'd rather not talk about it. Poor dude. This is one of the best songs in the game, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure. Look at this! Your attorney's badge? I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. But it's a thumbprint cookie! Hmm. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Someone was disguised as Edgeworth and put a mask over their head to make him look <laughs> like Edgeworth. <laughs> Is that your current theory? Otherwise, Edgeworth was the one who just, he like got pushed into... <laughs> it was Mary Potts who did it! That was ridiculous. No, he got, like, pushed in. Otherwise, Edgeworth was, like, in the Loch Ness Monster costume, like, ha <laughs> like, going in the lake. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? Of course we will. Yeah. Of course we will. <laughs> You're an idiot if you say that. Sorry, Charlie! No way! Right? Nick! Hey, don't look so serious, guys! I was kidding! Just a little joke! There was nothing little! Or joke-like about it! I thought it was funny! Nick, do it over! Yes, your honor. <laughs> uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Edgeworth's request. Put in your pocket! Oh yeah. Well, I guess we should... What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! Ah! It's calming down! Whew! That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? I'm dead. I'm dying. There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. Oh gosh. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. 
We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Edgeworth's just on the ground like, Earthquake scary! <laughs> like, rocking back and forth. December 25th, Police Department. What's going on here?! Eek! W what's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's all this about, pal? Lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? N no not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I could do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Er, uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Let's present. No, or talk. Wait. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality down a mite, but should let us see who's who. She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great! Just great! <laughs> In any case, she's going to be one of the test the one testifying tomorrow. Oh boy! <laughs> huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? Cancel I cancel being a witness. I guess it depends on the prosecutor. Person's like, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> I'm afraid oh, to- I wonder what the yeah, because it can't be Edgeworth, obviously. Edgeworth's like, I'm prosecuting my still I can do the job! Oh <laughs> boy! <laughs> it's Toad! <laughs> I'm afraid tomorrow's going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot ran out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file with the paperwork. But you still got time, pal! Go talk to him again, for me, please! You have to convince him. You have to make him... You have to make him let you defend him, please! That's a weird sentence. I know you're the only one who could do it, pal. You're the only one who could save Mr. Edgeworth. Well, guess what? Oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen this photo lady? Hey, pal, there's only one thing I want to see from you! And that's a letter of request for Mr. Edgeworth for you to be his defense attorney. Fine, here it is. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Bye-bye. Good luck, pal. <laughs> hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine! I lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to check on him. You two eat, go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Let's go get burgers! Later! <laughs> Definitely not ramen. <laughs> I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. We didn't go get burgers! Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Well, let's see. Fourth grade, you'd be about nine years old. And then your dad dies dramatically in front of you. And, and then like, he has to go to therapy. Yeah. That's not <laughs> weird. All right, so that's the first investigation period. Oh my gosh, tomorrow's trial is going to be kind of insane. <laughs> I'll get to talk a lot, I'm guessing, because we're going to have a, a, a prosecutor <laughs> who, I don't know, I don't know who that is. And then we got this crazy lot of heart, and we got Maya, we got the, oh, court is now in session. <laughs> you don't voice the judge. It's, it's actually a female judge this time. No, literally, my entire, like, other, I did go to, I didn't go to court because I was in trouble, but I went to, like, watch a court. The only, like, court experience I really have, even though I took a class, was the Mario Sunshine court at the beginning. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor! Overruled. I'm not even gonna listen to you. Anyhow, that's Mario, it for we're today. We're not be able to leave until he cleans up the whole island. <laughs> court adjourned. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time. We're going to court. Have a great day, and God bless. <laughs>